What's going on YouTube? Craig here from Alltech Together coming at you with another product review. And today, we're going to look at a pair of active noise cancelling headphones by a brand called Tautronics. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, these were purchased by me with my own money. So there will be no conflict of interest. Just like always, I'm going to give you a full and unbiased review. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So like I said in the intro, these headphones are active noise cancelling, okay? So they have ANC technology. So what that means is any sort of frequency coming towards the headphones is going to get met by a frequency that is meant to counteract it. So it is going to help you do a little bit of noise cancellation and knock down the ambient noise in your surroundings. But more on this sort of feature a little bit later. But as always, let's start with build quality first. So these are a matte plastic and they are probably, I'm going to say around 95, 90% plastic. There's a little bit of metal here on the armbands and a little bit of metal here in the hinges. Other than that, these are a plastic build. Now, I don't know if they're going to last super long. They do feel, I'm going to say a little bit on the cheaper side, but they still do feel, um, let's say adequate. Now, one thing I will say right now with build quality, these are only like, a, I think I paid 70, $80 in there somewhere for these. And that's on amazon.ca, uh, sorry, in Canada here. So the build quality to the price, I'm going to say is very fair. I, I'm, you're not expecting big high-end beefy build quality for that kind of price and if you are i think you're going to be sorely mistaken so plastic arms plastic bands a little bit of metal here on the adjusters one thing i will say that there is a good amount of padding up on the top and i'll get a little bit closer here so you can see that nice squishy padding on the top and i'll take these ear cups and these things and will have one of the greatest features ever i think every headphone manufacturer should do this they lay flat which is great, so that's nice. But when I look here at the ear cu ear cushions, they are nice, they are very, very fluffy. They're sort of like a memory foam pillow, which is really, really nice um, and comfortable. Um, other than that, you know, build quality, like I said, is, is adequate. Now, as far as comfort, I've worn these for my, you know, normal two week um, testing period. I wear them at work. I've probably had these actually for maybe about a month now. And I wear them, you know, at work when I'm doing office work and desk work and stuff. And I've had absolutely zero complaints about the comfort. They fit well. There's no fatigue on the top of my head, anything like that. They, they sit really well when I put them on. They sit really nicely. There's no big gaps in the sides. They go around my ear completely, which is really nice. So they are an over ear headphone and they fit really well. And like I said, I've worn these for like three, four, sometimes six hours at a time and they don't cause any discomfort, which is really, really nice, especially for, like I said, that budget sort of frame or a uh, price point, which is great. Now on to sort of the controls of this and how they're sort of set up to work. Oh, I should say they also fold up like this, if you're gonna take them on a, on a sort of a trip, you can fold them together. I should close them up here. And they'll, they will fold nicely. And we'll do a little bit more on that in a minute as well. But as far as the controls, the only thing you have here is on the bottom, you have your micro USB uh, charging port. These are Bluetooth enabled. You will have a uh, track skip and a track forward button so you can hit and hold those and then you have a play pause button and that's also going to double as your bluetooth pairing button so all we'll do is we'll hit that hold it it'll go into pairing mode you go to your phone your tablet your computer whatever and you can pair it and everything i've paired these with has been 100 percent seamless on the other side you're going to have your 3.5 millimeter jack so if the battery dies you can still use these with the cable and then they also have the active noise cancelling switch. 
this will lead me sort of into one of the negatives of this product. And for you, your, your mileage may vary on this negative. It might be something that you really do and like. When I turn these on and I'm listening to them, I have the noise canceling on and that's great. When I turn the power off on them, and let's say I'm going to put them away or, or go to a class or something like that, the active noise canceling doesn't turn off. It will keep going on. So let's say you put these away in your desk drawer and you forget left them over the weekend. They may die over the weekend just due to the fact that you didn't turn off that other switch. So it's like it has two power switches, which for some that might be great because maybe you don't have to use the active noise canceling if you don't want to. For others, it may be a problem. It's just something you should need you need to know about so you can make that informed purchase. So when we take these and we put them on, we turn off that turn on that active noise canceling. And like I said in the before, it sort of deadens the sound around you. So if you're in a very busy office with a lot of low sort of like chatter or white noise around you, just things you don't want to hear and you want to isolate yourself a bit, you can turn that switch on. Now sort of on to sound quality of these. If you buy these, and you know what, I, I will say, if you're looking for a nice pair of budget active noise canceling headphones, I would not hesitate to recommend these. If you buy them though, and you're gonna listen to them, always keep the active noise canceling on. When you're listening to them, noise canceling. Because now we're gonna get into the sound of these. When I first put them on, and I'm not an audiophile, I've said this on many different videos i'm not an audiophile by any stretch but i know that i like good sound when i have these on without the anc or the active noise cancelling they sounded lackluster they sounded very meh just eh. It, they weren't great i was like uh oh these are probably gonna end up going back when i turn on the anc the active noise cancelling it did bump it up it made everything just that much better and it actually made me not want to return these right away. It does step up the sound. Now the sound's not going to be the same as you'd get in a pair of Sennheisers or Audio Technicas, but this is, you know, a quarter of the cost or a third of the cost. But the sound is better with the ANC turned on. When you turn the ANC on, again, you're going to lose some of that ambient noise around you. If somebody's yelling at you, you're still going to hear them yelling at you. It doesn't cut out every single little thing. I have a four and a half year old. I was upstairs doing some schoolwork. He was downstairs playing. I could still hear him a little bit, even with the ANC on, but it certainly does reduce it. But it's not life-changingly amazing. It's not like, oh my God, I can't hear a single thing around me. This is such an immersive experience. No. If you want to not hear anything around you, turn up the volume. These things get wicked loud. Turn that volume up. You won't hear anything around you. And as far as I'm concerned, that's sort of what you need to do. But if you're on a plane and you just want to cut down some of that ambient rumbling noise and just that stuff around you, these things would, I think, be great. Now, the other benefit of these is, and I, and I love when manufacturers do this, they'll send a hard carrying case with it. So these actually came in the carrying case and you have your Tautronics sort of like user manual here. And then you have the micro USB cable for charging, which is great. I love it when they give you one of those. I do wish a lot of the times they would send like a, like a charging brick, but beggars can't be choosers. And then you can have your headphones Fold up nicely, and this is hard to do with one hand, but I'll get them. Fold up nicely, fit in that case, really nice. Close them up, the case is nice. Throw them in your bag, throw them in your purse, throw them in your, you know, man bag, whatever whatever you carry, and you're ready to go. The other nice thing is, it is a, it's a hard shelled case. It's an, actually a really nice sturdy case. I'm somebody that owns quite a few pairs of headphones, and I like to have a case for all of them. And so when Tautronics sort of incorporates this or includes it in so you know it's going to fit perfectly, it just adds a little, you know, something to the package. And again, for that $70, $80 mark, you know, you, you, you can't really go wrong with something that gives you this case as well. 
So I hope you enjoyed this review. I know this one's a little bit quicker. Um, remember, just as a heads up, I am giving away a $50 Amazon gift card when I hit 300 subscribers. So that's around 50 more subscribers at the time. So that'd be really nice for a Christmas present. Maybe you could buy yourself something cool or somebody else that you care about something cool with that $50. And again, it's always in your local currency. So if you're, if you're from the States, it'll be in US dollars. If you're from England or the, or the EU or anything like that, it'll be in the local currency. So pounds or whatever it is. So uh, when I hit 300 subscribers, I'm going to do that. I also have a couple of things coming from Kickstarter, which I'm super excited when they get here to sort of do a review on. And I have a couple of those I'm going to give away as well. So hit that subscribe button. Also leave comments down below if you have any questions on this headset or sorry, headphones or any of the other videos I do, please feel free to ask those questions. I'd love to hear from you. I love the interaction. I like that free flow of ideas and just, you know, being supportive of each other in this community. So again, my name is Craig from All Tech Together, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.